everyone here i am going to take the first question of chapter number 3 and this question is here from mcq and numerical answer type questions category here the results of a consolidation test on an undisturbed soil sample at a depth of 10 meter below the ground level are as follow so at a depth of 10 meter they have given me the unit weight something like this you you should notice this type of system we have the depth they have considered as a 10 meter and they have suggested the ground uh, water table was encountered at the ground level so here we have the location of water table gamma saturated is also given in the problem as a 16 kilo newton per meter cube okay they want me to calculate the over consolidation ratio ocr over consolidation ratio you people understand the meaning of effective stress in the past condition divided by effective stress in the present condition this is actually the meaning of this ocr so in the past condition if you ask me so in the past we have uh, been given the value pre of pre consolidation pressure which is 90 kilo pascal so we have written here 90 kilo pascal now what is the value of effective stress in the present condition that we can determine so here this is the layer at this layer we have to determine the effective stress sigma bar is equal to total stress minus pore water pressure so total stress you can see 16 into 10 16 into 10 pore water pressure you can see gamma w they have mentioned take 10 kN per meter cube suppose if they do not give the value of gamma w then we should take 9.81 so 10 into 10 10 into 10 so sigma bar we have 160 minus 100 of course 60 kilo pascal so this is your effective stress once you take the value of effective stress in present condition that we can put here 60 kilo pascal if you solve this the answer will be 1.5 so answer is 1.5 option number b now this question was asked in the year of uh, 2016 by isc bangalore one thing i people uh, i uh, actually i want to ask in this question they asked up to ocr only suppose in the next year they can ask ocr and type of soil they can mention suppose they are asking two things find the ocr and type of soil so answer they can give 1.5 ncc 1.5 occ and uh, some suppose uh, 2 ncc 0.67 occ something like this options they can give and they are asking this is your option a option b option c option d what is your answer so 1.5 is okay here i am getting 1.5 here i am getting 1.5 so which is my answer ncc or occ so of course my answer is occ because in the past we have higher effective stresses 90 kilo pascal in the present we have less effective stress 60 kilo pascal means the soil will be tre treated as a occ soil so whenever you get the ocr greater than 1 the value greater than 1 indicates the soil given is your occ soil If you are getting exactly equal to one, then it should be treated as a NCC soil. If you are getting less than one, again NCC soil. Clear? So here your answer will be 1.5 OCC soil because over consolidation ratio is greater than one. So like that, they can ask in the next to next year or in this next year, in any coming years they can ask. So you should be get ready. Now after this question number one. we can discuss the question number 2 also in the question number 2 if you see in this question they have given actually different types of curves two curves they have given actually and they are asking the stress strain behavior of the soil as shown in the figure corresponding to so what happens i can tell you the stress strain curve the stress strain curve for dense sand
or or i can say end dense end and occ soil and i can write this resistance curve for loose sand and ncc soil will be same will be same or would be same okay they will be same because the behavior is almost same very dense occ is also very dense loose nc is also very loose so behavior will be same so if you ask me to draw the stress strain curve for occ soil or dense sand here i can take the stress here i can take the strain or actually we can take the stress strain in the terms of major minor principle stresses also that is fine no problem we'll discuss we'll discuss so here the curve will be something like this for dense sand and occ soil and the curve will be something like this for your ncc and ncc and loose curve okay so actually when i will be teaching when i will be teaching the determination of shear strength of soil in chapter number 4 very clearly very clearly will be explaining about this stress strain curve and so many in interesting things we can discuss in chapter number 4 regarding this okay so do not need to worry i will be explaining this curves in detail in chapter number 4 right now just for information you can write dense sand or occ and here you can write loose sand or ncc for this we can have this type of curves okay so these are the uh, curves so this is matching with the option number c is are matching with the option number c so correct answer for this problem is option number c thank you